Japo Uganda imo mbioni kwa vutia wawekezaji katika kufanikisha zima yake ya kutajirika kiviwanda sheria zinazoambatana na wawekezaji pamoja na ukosefu wa miundo msingi vimetaja kuwa vizingite vikubwa vinavyodedemisha ndoto hiyo ya utajiri. Utafiti wa shirika la hesabu za nchi UBOS kwa ushirikiano na muungano wa Ulaya unavumbua kwamba ni asilimia na sita pekee ya viwanda hufanikiwa kuendelea na shughuli zake miaka michache baada ya kusajiliwa kutokana na gharama gali na mazingira magumu ya kufanyia kazi. The survey has already established that a significant number of licensed projects by UIA could not be located for one reason or another. Utafiti huo umefichiwa kwamba ni asilimia 31% pekee ya viwanda huzalisha kiwango kilichodengwa kwa ukamilifu. The biggest constraint factor for an investor is the fear that corruption will destroy his business or her business because you come i know my production costs I'm, i know my capacity marketing and selling but what i don't know is the corruption how much will cost sekta viwanda ndio hupokea idadi kubwa ya wawekezaji ikifuatiwa na biashara za jumla because he has a lot of information about our economy we Uganda Investment Authority has a lot of information about our economy. Private sector foundation have about a lot of information about our economy. But usually the Ugandan will assume he knows it. He knows it all. And eventually they start and fail. Some of them fail for many reasons. If you don't do a market survey for your business, obviously it's not going to prosper. Report hiyo sasa inapendekeza kuchukuliwa hatua za haraka kisheria ili kuweka mazingira rahisi ya kuwavutia wawekezaji na kuruhusu biashara kufanyika kwa uwazi humu nchini. Kenneth Buire, WBS Taarifa ya Habari.